If you're already subscribed, don't be a snake and press the subscribe button. You don't want to be a snake, do you? Thought not. So go and press that button already. Anyways, cue the goddamn intro. What's happening? First it was Roger, then it was Cindy, and now Colleen is under threat. Oh no. What? What if Mike is next? No. Oh god no. Sega, Sega wouldn't do this, would they? No, of course not. This is Sega Unleashed, remember. They only make smart decisions. Wait. No they don't! Of course they would do it! Mike! No! Oh. Never mind then. Yes, Sonic fans, it is true. Mike Pollock is officially continuing to voice everyone's favourite villain, Dr. Eggman. God damn it, Mike. Why are you going to scare us like that? Literally, I was so worried. I thought we lost you. That's all the details of this channel, but the amazing news. Mike Pollock to continue voicing Dr. Eggman in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Kind of prepare your ears accordingly. Voice actor Mike Pollock, the franchise voice of Dr. Eggman. Confirmed late Friday that he'll reprise the role in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Yes, and on that late, leave me alone. Pollock made the announcement on Twitter and reassured fans of a future appearance. You know what they say, the more the merrier. That was a terrible Eggman impression, what the heck. You know what, I'm going to try again. You know what they say, the more the merrier. Once again, awful, but better, better. Also, this is a reference to Shadow the Hedgehog. He says this in one of Shadow's boss fights, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one of his boss fights. So that's the reference there. I see you, the first time I read this, I just heard it in Eggman's voice, so yeah, that's how good he is. Anyways, you've not yet heard the last of me as Dr. Eggman inside the Hedrick video game. Can of prepare your ears accordingly. If you guess otherwise, surprise! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to stock up on lozenges. Oh my god. Man, I feel so bad for Mike, honestly. His voice gets so hurt from after doing Eggman's voice, he's so crackly and stuff. This Man, must, must be a real pain doing that. The announcement came after voice actress Cindy Robinson and voice actor Roger Craig Smith confirmed that they'll reprise their roles as Amy Rose and Sonic the Hedgehog. Earlier ago, Prina Shaughnessy, the voice of Miles Tails Power, confirmed she will not have a voiceover role in Sonic Prime. It is presumed she will return a franchise role, though there has been no official confirmation. Even though Pollock confirmed his involvement in the series, his status in the upcoming Sonic Prime animation scheduled for release in 2022 is yet to be known. Pollock is one of the longest serving voice actors in the franchise's history. He voiced Dr. Eggman since 2003, survived through talent shovels in 2005 and 10. Ah, you love to see it. Mike, it's great to still have you on board. I honestly cannot imagine Eggman with another voice. I really can't. Mike really has given Eggman quite a personality, just a goofy and lovable villain. This is especially evident in Sonic Boom. You know what? I think I'm going to play some of Mike's best moments as Eggman. Enjoy! If it isn't Sonic. What's with a smug grin? You got beef, hedgehog? Then why don't you bring it to my grill? Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't want none of this now. -uh. Yeah, give me the cold shoulder, huh? You just started a war, you blue pincushion! <laughs> <clears throat> I said. Hey, Sonic! It's me, your good friend with the two tails! Oh, what's his name? Check out these fly dance moves! He had two hours to think of a distraction, and that's what he came up with? Okay, Orbot, your turn. Sonic, it is I, Tails. Watch me hambone. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> Time for the final showdown! This 
This is the greatest day of my life! Oh, wait. I prepared something for this. <clears throat> when Sonic and I first locked eyes so many years ago, it was hate at first sight. And now, I stand here, my head full of hair. Whoa, how long ago did I write this? Boss? That's not Sonic. <gasps> it's all been a brilliant, elaborate ruse. Brilliant might be a little generous, don't you think? That sneaky trickster is gonna pay for his labyrinthine web of lies. <laughs> no, I'm not crying. My eyes are just sweating. They are tears of joy. Man. That's just crazy how Mike Pollock has actually survived this many recastings of characters. Like, damn! He first joined back in 2003 for Sonic X, survived through 2005, and then survived the end of the Dark Age with colours. And now this? Mike can literally withstand anything. He really is. He really is the Eggman. It's what he is. He is the Eggman. Okay, shut up on leash. Now that we know Mike is saying for the voice of Eggman, can rest easy now. Panic over. Wait. Hold up now, what does this actually mean for the other voice actors and Sonic Prime? We already know that Colin is a voice in Tales and Sonic Prime, but she hasn't actually said anything about the games. When Sydney was asked about voicing Amy, she just flat out said no. Do you think Colleen would have done the same? I'm pretty sure Colleen doesn't have anything to really hide. I mean, why wouldn't she just tell us that she's not voicing Tales altogether? Or just only told us about his depart? It can't really cause much more drama than if Colleen told us, can it? I also heard that this show is being made in Canada, and they need Canadian actors or something like that, and it's part of some law, and if they don't do Canadian actors, there's something going down. I don't know, something like that. Not too sure. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I generally think Sega has just gotten a second cast of actors for Sonic Prime, but maybe in a year or two, the main cast will be replaced. It's what happened with Sonic X. It aired in 2003, and then after two years, the four kids cast became the main one. It could happen again. Or, if we're lucky, Sega actually just decided to have two casts, one for the games, and one for Sonic Prime. It could happen. It would be great. I love for Colin to carry on voicing Tails. There's some current voice actors which are really good too. I actually really like David Mitchell's take on Knuckles. He doesn't sound too dumb and not overly cool. Just perfect. I know a lot of people are going to question my sanity with this, but I don't want Kirk Thornton to go. He sounds great in Forces. He just needs great direction to sound good, just like Rouge. Another reason Kirk can't go is because your voice is Orbot. We could not let Orbot have a voice change. Same with Cubot. I just think that Orbot and Cubot are the best henchmen for Eggman yet. They just have so much personality than just previous ones, especially for the ones from Sonic X. What are they called? Boko and... I'm pretty sure one's called Boko... I can't remember what the name is. The, the terrible, that's it. They're basically like Meowth from Pokemon. They're just so generic. So anime-like, that's what the word is, yeah. They just do nothing. I mean, they sort of attempt to be funny. It succeeds sometimes, but not all the time. I will say though, that Scratch and Grounder are really good too, but I prefer Orbot and Cubot more. Most because they've had more screen time and because they didn't really grow up with Scratch and Grounder either. Orbot and Cubot also go really well with Eggman too. This is especially evident in Sonic Boom, like pretty much everything is. If there's one voice actor which I'll happily say goodbye to, it's the voice of Rude, Karen Strassman. If her first name doesn't sound any alarms for you, then I don't understand you at all. Karen, what a disgrace. She's literally a Trump supporter. Now that should definitely alert some red lights for you. We could not allow someone like that into the Sonic cast. We just can't. It just leaves a bad impression on the rest of the talented actors, which isn't good. I know I'm sounding a bit harsh, but it's for the greater good. So, it's all fine. It's all good. No problems here. Anyways, that's about wraps it for this video. Thank God Sega didn't go and do something stupid and get rid of Mike Pollock or else bad things would have happened. There would have been angry mobs with forks and torches heading towards Zuka. There'd be no escape. Just basically picture the gun truck chase in City Escape except Izuka is Sonic and us Sonic fans, we are the gun truck. I think we reached the point where we've taken this joke just a bit too far. Yeah, let's just stop it now. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like share, subscribe, especially that last one, and I hope to see you next time. Peace.